hello guys so today's uh, video is actually a requested video and this this is the question came in csir exam csir uh, june 2017 question number 98 okay so this video is requested by uh, yashpal thakur so thank you for the request and uh, you can also uh, ask me for making such videos uh, if you want and i will entertain such uh, requests so for this you have to just uh, write in the comment section or you can also send me mail or you can contact me via whatsapp i uh, gave my whatsapp number in the description section so now let's start the question so what is the question given here is this is a bicyclic compound where there is a double bond so this is a alkene now uh, there are several reagents given and by the condition a we will give this and by condition b we will give this so in the product a so we can label the product a and this by b so in the product a both the hydroxyl groups are in upward direction and in product b both hydroxyl groups are in downward direction so in both case c in addition occurs okay so this is basically a question of dihydroxylation and c in hydroxylation occurs in this case so first condition given is uh, catalytic uh, osmium tetroxide and nmo uh, for a condition and for b i2 uh, so uh, ph co co2 ag that is uh, uh, benzoate uh, silver benzoate followed by so, uh, aqueous sodium hydroxide in second option is given alkaline par uh, potassium permanganate and b option is given i2 and phenyl ben uh, silver benzoate uh, then followed by water and last aqueous uh, sodium hydroxide and third option given uh, the, uh, here i2 so these options you can uh, find in the question paper or uh, these are the options okay so these are the options given now we will look one by one and uh, try to find out so you can easily eliminate one option that is option 4 so option 4 it is given that meta chlorobenzoic acid is there so meta chlorobenzoic acid what it does it does epoxidation of alkene so epoxidation will occur from a particular side now if we treat the compound with sodium hydroxide the epoxide ring will open but the ring opening is a sn2 reaction and when epoxide ring will open then both one hydroxyl group will be in one phase and other will be in other phase so you will get trans product so you will never get cis product so this product we can easily eliminate so now we are left with this three options okay so this product cannot be the answer this option cannot be the answer Uh, you can uh, change. You can go uh, further for this meta chlorobenzoic acid oxidation. That is Prelishitz reaction by uh, where uh, for which I made another video, and you can look at that video by uh, going to the description section or the link above. Okay, now let us discuss the other three options. So the first option given here is catalytic osmium tetroxide and NMO. So this is our compound, and if we treat it with catalytic osmium tetroxide and NMO, what we will get? Sorry, we will get. So this dihydroxylation will occur here. Now two phases are there: down phase and up phase. In the down phase, there is a uh four member ring that is two carbon atoms are there and their corresponding hydrogens and in this case only one carbon center is there so so you can easily find out that this phase is more sterically inert because of this large group than this small group so this phase this phase will not be attracted instead this upper phase will be attracted so, uh, attract so we will get this product so this is product a now product a is matching with this so this or this is right now second uh, so for b what is given for option so this this is right product a is right now for b what is given is that 
so i2 so first iodonium ion will be formed okay and for the same reason as the previous one iodonium ion will be formed here and here silver so this is this is a pivot reaction and you can find the, uh, i will not discuss the detail mechanism of this pivot reaction you can find it in my other video so for this reaction uh, you you should know that this agi will be precipitated and firstly this uh, uh, iodonium ion will be formed and uh, from which phase the, this iodonium ion will, will be formed for the same reason the steric hindrance it will be for, uh, formed in the sorry it will be formed in the up phase okay so as the previously the hydroxylation and hydroxylation occur in the up phase so same for same reason the iodonium ion will be formed in the up phase now what can happen is that the uh, benzoate anion present in the solution so it will attack any of the any of the site either it can attack here or it can so let's say it will attack here to open this so we will get this okay so we will get this now what can happen what can happen is that uh, finally we will uh, so uh, now what can happen is that this uh, lone pair this so we, we should write it here again so our product is this so iodine and we have this now this can attack here and this iodine will go so we have okay so this will be the intermediate okay now this is the intermediate now we have uh, this aqueous sodium hydroxide present so aqueous sodium hydroxide what we will do we will attack here and open this to give this storage and this now another sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide will be present uh, in excessive amount so it will hydrolyze this ester to give this product okay now you can find that this stereochemistry is trans but in our desired product it is cis and both in downward so option one is not also correct so option two is also incorrect okay so this reaction is called pivot reaction this hydroxy dihydroxylation trans dihydroxylation is called pivot reaction now another option what what is there another option given there is for a for a it is given kmno4 alkaline kmno4 and alkaline kmno4 reaction is same with that of um, uh, osmium tetroxide and it will it will give the product this so this is also product a it is correct okay same same reaction as uh, osmium tetroxide so this a option is also correct for here and now the second option is given is same like the previous one okay so here it is given i2 it will first form it will first form this iodonium okay now the interesting fact is that in this case what can happen uh, so again uh, this ph co2 minus this can uh, attack this can attack from there here and you will get this product okay so you will get i 
and so this CH okay and it will again replace this iodide to give you this one okay so up to this both both conditions are same up to this both conditions are same now what is given here is that uh, in this uh, in the previous case uh, after that it is treated with sodium hydroxide but here water is present so water molecules are present what can do water molecule so water molecule will attack here before before the introduction of sodium hydroxide water molecule will attack here and we will get OH CH then it will collapse okay so we will have like O minus and CH okay and then what will happen when we add sodium hydroxide so when we add sodium hydroxide the ester group will be hydrolyzed okay so this is OH so this, is, this will be also this so ester group will be hydrolyzed and we will get product B so this is product B so in this way, option 2 we can get both A and B so option B is correct answer okay so this is the this reaction when water is added it is called the prevost pre uh, modification of the prevost reaction so you should look uh, you should note that in the prevost reaction uh, only uh, aqueous uh, only non aqueous uh, silver benzoate and uh, iodine is given and in this case trans product is obtained whereas in the previous modification of the sorry Woodward modification of the previous reaction you get the cis product so this will be the correct answer now let's see what the other option given so another option is so you uh, after doing this you may find that this is the correct answer so let us just for the sake of interest we are uh, we are uh, examining that what is the other product given so another option is given for a for in this case it is given for a i2 and ph co2 ag and anyway so in this case you can easily say that after knowing the reverse reaction you can say that this will be the trans product so this cannot be the option so the correct option is option 2 so option 2 is the correct answer so we hope you uh, hope this video is helpful for you for the CSI exam and if you have any other uh, questions please post it in the comment section i will be uh, happy to answer your question so thank you and please subscribe my channel for getting more information and more updates